What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks, and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you some more Master League Premier Cup battles. Um, and I'm going to be using a team that has been fairly successful for me. These uh, battles were kind of in my rookie stage of using the team, so you're going to see a couple mistakes happening for sure. But it consists of a Dragonite lead, uh, Metagross as the safe switch, and Metagross is still running Meteor Mash and Earthquake, and then Magnazone in the back. And I believe for all of these battles, my Magnazone was actually still running Wild Charge and Flash Cannon. Don't necessarily know if I would recommend Flash Cannon because I've definitely lost a couple games where I just was a little bit energy short of getting to that wild charge and the opponent had very minimal health. So the mirror shot would have been really nice. It also offers some bait potential for Magneton, but this team comp, I didn't really come up with it. I've seen lots of people use it, uh, like a, a Dragonite in the lead. You could also run like a Garchomp in the lead and then have uh, double steel, right? Um, but this double steel combination is very, very strong. Um, I believe Zionic actually just posted a video recently of a team using Garchomp and uh, Swampert and, uh, what was it, dude? It's like Garchomp, it, it was some, no, 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 it, dude, I, this is embarrassing, but uh, I saw somewhere, it was either, either on Twitch or on YouTube, uh, a team that also like directly hard counters this lineup of Dragonite Double Steel, because it's everywhere, and I think that consisted of Togekiss, Swampert, and Garchomp, I think I might have even seen it on the J Farm Twitch channel, I'm, I'm totally butchering that, I saw it somewhere though, so you do need to look out for that, um, because this Dragonite Double Steel team is absolutely everywhere so uh, let's kind of get into these battles Dragonite as a lead is very solid a lot of these matchups that are like bad for Dragonite like Metagross you can actually just power through in the two shield because the dragon breath damage is so um, insane okay Mammoth Swine so the Powder Snow is hitting Dragonite for double super effective but you can see just how much damage these uh, the dragon breath does to Mammoth Swine Dragonite gets to the uh, Dragon Claw like barely before Mammoth Swine. So I'm going to be able to throw this Dragon Claw. I did obviously have to shield at the Outrage because that would one shot Dragonite for sure. And look at that. Dragonite wins in the one shield against Mammoth Swine. That's great. Now at this point, um, I'm thinking that whatever is in the back is hopefully going to be weak to Magnezone, and it is. It is a Waterfall Gyarados, so these Waterfalls do, um, they do a lot of damage. And I'm actually going to commit my shield here. Farm up to two Wild Charges. Again, this is where, like, if I had Mirror Shot, it might be kind of nice to use it, but they weren't going to shield that anyways. Going to be able to bring out my... Uh, second wild charge on that Dragonite, get the final shield, and now that Dragonite is for sure in Meteor Mash range, and they dumped their energy on my Magnezone, so this is looking pretty favorable. Hopefully the audio does not peak out this time. I don't know what happened on the last video, but uh, everything was peaked out. So sorry that you guys had to suffer through that. Also, uh, on the latest update, at least on iOS, which is what I'm running, uh, these little white squares that are covering up your rating, they are gone. Thank goodness it only took them a couple days to realize that there, we got massive white squares where the Go Battle League rating is, but uh, in the latest update that is fixed. I've noticed today the Go Battle League servers seem to be pretty laggy, and that might be because uh, the Megas are getting released soon and uh, the servers are struggling. I don't know. We'll see. Gyarados uh, against Metagross is a favorable lead for Gyarados, but if Metagross has the energy advantage, you can actually force out some shields. So I did commit one shield there um, because I want this Gyarados to be out of energy. Now I can either farm with Dragonite here or Magnezone. I think Magnezone with an energy advantage uh, is pretty nice. Okay, check this out. Do they know I have Flash Cannon? That move literally just won me the game. So the flash cannon surprise is very nice um, when it works out like that. But I have also lost a decent number of battles uh, because I did not have mirror shot. So I personally would still not recommend that you run flash cannon on Magnezone. I think it really only functions if you are running Magnezone as a closer like this. Um, but even then, I would definitely recommend Mirror Shot. I'm going to be able to farm down that Metagross, and so they uh, leave the match there. Good game. 
Dragonite into Garchomp. This is favorable for Dragonite uh, because that Dragon Breath damage does so much. Okay, now here, this is something that happens a lot. They safe swap into Gyarados, and then so the obvious choice is to bring in Magnezone here because it's such a solid counter. But as you can see, uh, I left my Magnezone with way too much health, and now this Garchomp is going to be able to farm me down. Uh, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get to a Flash Cannon because it looked like it, the game was starting to lag a little bit, so I just threw Wild Charge. And now I'm in a horrible position. I'm in a horrible position, especially if they Sand Tomb bait me here, which they do. Really bad for me. Metagross in the back, and um, my own Metagross down a shield is not going to be able to take out this Metagross. So this is why I throw the Dragon Claw first, and I actually get a shield there, which is pretty huge. At this point, I need to essentially just go straight Meteor Mash, and luckily I do shield up that Earthquake. If they baited me, I'd be even uh, in a worse spot, but there's still, uh, this still ain't happening. They're gonna be able to get to an Earthquake here. This is really not good. So what I have kind of since learned in this strategy, if I get a favorable lead like that, Dragonite into Swampert or Dragonite into Garchomp, uh, and they safe swap the Gyarados, I'm actually going to stay in with the Dragonite a little bit, throw a Dragon Claw, and then probably switch into my Metagross because um, they can't farm me down as much with their Garchomp. Gives me a little bit more play because it really sucks having Magnezone be walled by that Garchomp and then it comes in and farms and it's just really not great. So I will shield this up. This Metagross um, Mirror Match in the two shield, I like to just go straight Meteor Mash, but still obviously build up to the Earthquake, but then shield bait with Meteor Mash the whole time. Because even if one of those goes unshielded, it's still gonna be pretty favorable uh, in the two shield because the bullet punch damage just adds up so much. This Metagross Swampert matchup is not that bad once shields are down. I'm gonna immediately switch into my Dragonite here, most likely a Hydro Cannon, hopefully. It's a Sludge Wave, that's brutal. Sludge Wave does like just under half health on Dragonite and the Mud Shots essentially do almost nothing. So Dragonite can actually tank two Sludge Waves. Out comes Metagross. I'm going to throw the Hurricane here. Really hope this uh, goes unshielded. I missed a bubble. What a noob. I would have loved to hit that bubble <laughs> to get the excellent. Um, but we're still in a pretty decent spot here. Gonna bring out Magnezone. I call the bait here because they threw immediately and it was just a Meteor Mash. Thank goodness. Gonna be able to spark it all the way down, that's huge. And in the back is Gyarados. This is going to be a massacre. One wild charge is for sure gonna be able to KO the Gyarados. Hits for double super effective, super strong. Oh my gosh, yep, good game. So essentially, you know, whenever you run a team like this with a double of one typing in the back, you oftentimes have to make very aggressive swaps into your safe swap, which in this case is Metagross, in order to bait out uh, your back Pokemon's worst counter. So a lot of the times, uh, very rarely, am I going to stay in the lead situation unless it's extremely favorable, like against a Swampert or a Garchomp, that would be something that would hard counter my back line. Um, so you're gonna notice me giving up switch advantage a lot, and the specific reason is to bait out um, a potential counter for my Magnezone. So again, I was able to get a shield off the Gyarados. I kind of like going down one shield each there because I feel like Magnezone is a little bit uh, more deadly with a shield advantage or uh, with a energy advantage here. So most likely they're going to have, I mean, we'll have to see. <laughs> the Dragonite. Again, if I had Mirror Shot here, it would be kind of nice for some chip damage at the end, but um, I switched into my Dragonite. I was really hoping to throw a Dragon Claw before they were able to throw it, and that was a huge mistake right there. I should have shielded. I should have shielded. Very unfortunate uh, play by me, because the Dragon Breath damage is just gonna be too much. And as you can see, it's Togekiss in the back, and I just, I wasn't gonna have enough power to take it out. Very good game. Absolutely should have shielded. Absolutely should have shielded. Big mistake on my part. 
I think the second set here, I actually go one and four. So let's learn together. Again, uh, in this Metagross mirror match, uh, I like to hold on to my energy whenever I switch a Metagross onto their opposing Metagross. Because uh, as you will see, they, they're they going to bring in a counter, and if I have all the stored energy, Metagross can oftentimes flip uh, this matchup. So I get, um, at this point, I can actually win switch, which I should do. Yep, I will shield that and then farm it down. Down a shield, but fine by me. I have some stored energy if the Metagross comes back out. They bring out Dragonite. So at this point, I know that Magnezone is really gonna have um, have to carry me through this battle. So I'm actually gonna switch into my Dragonite immediately. Questionable play, because this Dragon Claw really hurts. And then they can bring out their Metagross to farm me down. Uh, actually, very questionable play. Actually, not a good play at all. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I don't really know what that was. I'm gonna bring out my own Metagross here because I want them to throw energy, and they do, which is good. But I don't have Mirror Shot. And if I get hit by an Earthquake, I'm totally screwed. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was horribly played, folks. Horribly played. Good game. Okay, is this Smackdown or Mud Slap Rhyperior? It is Smackdown. However, I can't switch into my Metagross because they're going to switch out. And then Magnezone is really going to struggle against this Rhyperior in the back. So I'm going to stay in for a little bit. Chip it down with Dragon Claw. If this is super power, it's probably just enough to take me out. But it's Surf, I barely survive. And I'm not able to get to the Dragon Claw. But this is going to be some nice farm for my Metagross here. Yikes. This is a super power, most likely. Yep. Does do a nice chunk. But Metagross with an energy advantage is pretty deadly. They pr Okay, they're going to bring out Snorlax. This kind of makes me think that they could have a Togekiss or a Dragonite in the back. So in my head, I'm, I'm kind of um, being aware of that. I'm actually able to catch a Body Slam on Magnezone here. That's a nice swap. It is Dragonite in the back. The reason I thought that there either might be a Togekiss or a Dragonite in the back uh, is because if they had something more punishing to the Metagross, like Swampert or Garchomp, they would have brought it out right there because uh, they had switch advantage. So throw the wild charge. And yeah, again, this is where having like Mirror Shot would be so nice because this Dragonite is in Mirror Shot range, but instead I have to dump all this energy and debuff myself again not good at all. I'm going to switch into my Metagross here. And then I have to save the shield for my Magnezone. Oh, I don't even have a shield. So this is this is good game because they're just uh, body slams going to be able to take me out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this was a rough set. A lot of mistakes being made for me uh, from me for sure. Dragonite into Swampert. This is a favorable lead. So obviously I'm going to stay in this. I'm expecting them to switch into Dra Okay, Dragonite. Now I stayed in there for just a little bit because I wanted to chip the Dragonite down enough to where it would be in wild charge range. That was my thought process there. I'm gonna over farm a lot here. You don't wanna throw wild charge right away because the Dragon Breath damage is really gonna start adding up. But at this point it's getting very dangerous. So I'm gonna throw it here. Gonna throw it right there. Oh man. Okay, down two shields, really not good. Uh, I know that they still have Swampert. So at this point, I'm just gonna bring my Metagross in, totally farm this down. Because if I can land like an Earthquake on the Swampert, that's really good. I might shield the, okay, wow, I'm not going to. Just another Dragon Claw, totally fine. Don't hit me with another Dragon Claw. Okay, that's great, Woo, getting scary. Swampert's for sure coming back out. So I throw the Meteor Mash here. I don't know why. Uh, but I'm going to be able to farm down this Togekiss with, uh, with Meteor or with Bullet Punch. Oh my gosh. And then I'm barely going to be able to get to this Earthquake. Okay, that's a risky way to play that, but it all worked out in the end. Oh my 
goodness. Th yeah, this was not a great, this was not a great final set in this video, but I hope you can see some mistakes that I'm making and learn from this. I have to stay in this. Okay, the Snorlax safe swap. I have to chip it down first. They so don't have a hard punish to Snorlax. So I'm gonna bring out Magnezone here. Ah, see, this is another instance where like, I don't know about this. Obviously the Magnezone gets to avoid the Machamp, which is great, but Machamp's gonna come back in and farm me down. If this is a superpower, I do correctly shield it up, but Machamp is gonna farm me down and then have Rock Slides to threaten my Dragonite, which is why I over farm so much here. And I should throw this Wild Charge immediately to debuff myself so they can't farm as much. I, like, I, uh, I should have thrown the Wild Charge immediately. Because they, they probably got like one more extra counter in there. And this is not great. This is not great at all. Rock Slide from a Shadow Machamp might barely take me out at this range. But they're going to be able to get to two. And it's a Metagross in the back and I'm down a shield. So this is pretty much a good game here. Because uh, Metagross without any shields is going to get hit by the Earthquake. So um, thank you all very much for watching. I'm continuing to run this team and kind of get used to it. Uh, definitely made a lot of rookie mistakes in this final set here. But I hope you guys um, enjoy the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you do. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.